Hello everybody, welcome back to HBM Mod. In the last episode, uh, we, well, kind of just left off with, um, where we're at right now. Uh, oil refinery. I took down the entire oil setup. Because not only is it not doing anything right now, but also, I've got big plans for it. We're gonna computerize the whole thing. Probably. But also, we're gonna set up the thing... So it uses mobs for oil, which is actually the most messed up thing ever, but also completely brilliant. I like it. Good game design. We're going to go ahead and cook mobs into oil. Maybe squids or something. Uh, actually, squids, they can spawn too many around here, but um, mobs, there's nowhere for them to spawn. You see, so if we set up a mob farm, we can actually turn them into oil using a jet engine. For example, we could just breed sheep and make them into oil. It's a new way of getting oil. Which is actually amazing. But, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I think I'm probably just gonna go ahead and, uh, get started moving all these things over and then we'll set up a regular oil setup. Uh, again. But not a regular, regular oil setup. It's gonna be a little more special, uh, than that. Good grief, this place is a mess, but we'll fix this up in a second with the Mace Miner. I'll show you all how to fix a mess like this. The good way. Right? Mace Miner has a mode called Explomication, Autocrystallization, and a bunch of other things. Now, if you set it all the way up to 15, that will fix everything. Boom! You're welcome. There we go. That's enough fixing for today. The rest of it, I'll just sell a fight cast over. So it will look like a big old mountain. Or just a pile of slop. But either way, it will look pretty good. Because sell a fight, if you look over there, looks absolutely beautiful. Now done. This is radioactive rocks. And it is just the best texture ever. We actually blew up the boiler, the solar boiler that we're probably not going to use anymore. Too bad you can't actually use these to boil oil, because uh, I would I would totally be doing that, but it's only one tall version where that can work. I think. The new oil sap's going next to the watch reactor, which is kind of terrifying because, um, reasons, but, eh, could be worse, couldn't it? So... That is every single crate for the oil setup. And also some power connectors, but we'll get to those in a bit. Basically, all of our oil setups have a starting point where they start their production line at, which is usually with these guys um, or the other guys. However, I'm going to be using redstone to initiate this system in different ways. So basically... Uh, we'll be able to do all different types of oil. It's going to be amazing. Um, from one starting selection of oil. We'll probably start off by storing all of the oil in a tank. And then all of the coal gasoline in a tank. And then all of the other stuff in a tank. This is modernization here, right? We're getting started with making our oil setup from this old silly setup to a new gigachad setup, I guess. Right, so this is the basic starting point for most of these oil setups, is like this. Um, where's the other thing? Oh, I still got all this kerosene, which is nice. The other thing we need is somewhere in here. <laughs> Can't even find it, dude. Also, we're going to need a bunch of these. We're going to need to switch them out for the... Um, RTG things. I guess we'll make those today as well while I set this thing up um, So here's the regular oil refinery. I think I'm gonna place it right here Have it like a nice T section here. So I got some space for all the piping that's gonna need to happen and then We'll have a system here which controls which of these can go to which thingy which station so I can automate automate that automize it uh <laughs> So, 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 what are we doing now? What are we doing now? We're making radiolysis. The radiolysis chamber is actually the future of technology in HBM mod. It's amazing. Now, how many of these are we going to make? We're going to be making a bunch. 
We, we you saw how many cracking powers we had. Right? It's like four. One, two, three, four. That doesn't seem four of them. Only four. Wow. Usually you need more than that for an oil setup. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with that. It's weird. Maybe I shredded one of them by mistake or something stupid. But that that doesn't seem like something I would be doing. Uh, okay. Well, it's a little weird, but I mean, I guess we can all agree that it's weird that I don't have more than four of them. Um, and I only need four of these, which is actually nice. You'd be surprised how happy I am that I don't need to make more of these. Well, actually, you probably aren't surprised. I mean, it makes sense. I need 32 rubber ingots, and I do not have 32 rubber ingots, dude. So, we actually probably should have done this a long time ago to get our oil set up, um, futurized. Although, now, it's actually time to get it futurized, and... Well, well, we'll be having full control over everything using a massive computer system. Um, to a degree, a computer system. It's more of a control system, I would call it. That's what I would call the other system for the watch reactor as well. Automated control unit. ACU. ACU, automated control unit. Uh, oh, okay. Well, that, that sounds like another acronym. Sounds like a lot of acronyms, dude. I can assure you my acronym is completely, completely original, okay? I did not take that from any other place. It's completely original. Definitely not army combat uniform. You're gonna need 48 lead ingots, dude. Actually, it's been a while since I, I've done one of these episodes where I tell you all what you need to do. It's usually, the past few episodes have been absolute rubbish. This is actually pretty good. In it. Um. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> We're shoving this into the thing. We're shoving that into the thing. We need to make thermoelectric elements now. And we need to make about 32 of them, which is an absolute pain, but could be worse, dude. Because you know what's worse than 32? 64. Oh, that's right. You didn't expect me to say it. Well, um. Yeah, I don't know what we're on about. If only we could make polonium wires. Polonium. Thorium. Uranium. Tasty, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna chow down on some uranium, dude. How much iron have I made? I think I've probably made like six billion iron ingots at this point. Um, where's my quartz? Come on, dude. I need this. Uh, 44 is not gonna be enough. I need 64, dudes. 64. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Um, uh, well, what is the protocol for when we run out of quartz? Uh, shred quartz. I guess. Even though I'm probably going to need it for the automatic control unit, which is going to be in charge of the entire system. It's not going to be automatic. It's going to be manual control unit. With redstone lamps and stuff. It's going to look cool. I'm going to be so hyped when I get that done. <laughs> oh! Why am I so excited about radiolysis machines, though? You're probably wondering. Radiolysis machines are a three-in-one machine. Not only could they power the entire base, maybe. Potentially, if you get lucky. But they can power most of the stuff that we need to power. Which is kind of rare. Considering that we got a bunch of stuff we need to power. Um, there might be quartz down here, actually. And I think about it. There's definitely quartz down here. No. Is there quartz in here? No. Oh, dang it. Womp. 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 Can you not take the ionized particles and then make them with... Hold on a second. Somebody told me ionized particles plus the plutonium makes the stew hickey. Uh, that makes strabidium. Oh, that would probably give you a lot of antimatter, though. I mean... Would it be worth... No. How the heck does this work? You're smashing plutonium into helium. And getting this. Maybe that works. But you're hitting a small target with a massive bullet. Actually, that would make sense. 
You know, you can never miss if your bullet is ten times the size of your target. You know, those actual beam particle experiments that, that, that we do to try to make the new almonds nowadays is absolutely um, crazy because probably it's probably about as hard as what like calculating um something or uh, no trying to crack sha 256 it probably takes it's probably like the same kind of time consumingness as it would take to crack that code um or the secure hash algorithm 256 that's probably they're probably equally time consuming to try to do except one takes you two billion years the other one takes you probably uh, two decades <laughs> maybe more if you're unlucky but, uh, human physics are getting pretty good nowadays, I would say. Although, that's questionable. Dubious at best. Nice. I actually kind of like not seeing the massive oil setup. It was kind of a blemish on our beautiful landscape. But now it's going to be a blemish on our beautiful base. Maybe. Uh, hopefully not. That's, that one would be actually annoying. Where's my doohickey? Come on. Are you kidding me? I need to grab some of this. 30, 16. Is it going to be 16 or is it going to be 8 pieces? Are you correct? Okay, and this doesn't need... Where's my stuff? You deleted my stuff from existence. What? Oh, there they are. Let me try this again. Delete the gate. Nice. Thermal electric element. Nice. Did you remove the RTGs from this recipe, HPM? Because this recipe is actually amazing if you remove them. Uh, what is it called again? It's called... Radiolysis Chamber. This is the 8 and one Oh, you did. Thank goodness. What a lovely thing. This is amazing. Oh, we are finally... Finally, a long last. This should make two... Actually, this would make two. So I need 12. Finally, at long last, making the greatest machine of all time. 12 times 6 is 72, which means it's going to be 8 plus 64. Or 60 hour Or 6 hour Shut up. Oh, no. Who sent me that? Who sent me message? I do not want message right now. I'm trying to make a radiolysis machine. Ah, uh, time to do this. Alright. I have too many for the doohickey. That is ridiculous. Uh time to make a radiolysis machine. Correct? Radiolysis. Perfect. Let's shove it in there. Okay, it's done. Check it out. We are making radiolysis machines. Oh, <laughs> four of them. That's right. Not one, not two, not ten. Twenty, no. Twenty-four would be too much. I actually was thinking we were going to have to, like, set up, like, dozens of these. Now, there is a downside to these. And it's that they, they produce energy, but they also, while they can crack stuff, you, then if you have multiple cracking outputs, it's kind of annoying because you don't have enough of the thingies. Oh, however... The thing is, is that you can hook barrels up to the bottom of the actual ports on any machine, and you'll get double the ports. So technically, Kraken Tower has double the ports. I, I don't know if that's actually correct, because I've never tried the Kraken Tower, but most machines do work. For example, downstairs, you can see I've got barrels that hook up under these guys to actually allow for the flow of stuff. Because I need I needed nine outputs instead of, or no, not... How many outputs do these guys got? These guys got an eight, don't they? Yeah, I needed like nine. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna use the other ones. I just that wouldn't be efficient. These are about as big as a chem plant. Actually, smaller. Uh, yeah, about as big. Practically the same size. You can see these are made in the Soviet Union for some reason. Um, hey, is this says? Does it say retig? Retag. Retail. It's re. Oh, it's RTG. R E tag. Re tag. I don't even know, dude. Uh, RTG cracking and sterilization. Check out the recipes on this doohickey. 
Amazing stuff. Amazing. Petroleum. Oh, petrochemicals. Oh, wait, and this is the best part. You get hydrogen and liquid hydrogen. Hydrogen peroxide, liquid hydrogen from water. So you can make those both in this guy. Kind of useful, in it? Uh, but there's more. You can turn kerosene into petroleum gas. You can turn this into this. You can turn that into that. Do this and that and make this. This, that, this, 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 that, that. Boom. Awesome. And all you need is some strontium. Oh, but guess what? It gets even better because this thing has an R on the bottom, I think. Does this have an R? Is it going to be some kind of Soviet propaganda that I, that I don't want to see or something ridiculous? I don't know. Wait. The H. Oh. I've seen that before, actually. I saw that when I was trying to solve the H gap puzzle. H gap puzzle is not worth it. Do not try it. You'll go insane. It will consume you, dude. It's not worth it. Don't think about it, dude. Don't think about it. Anyway, so oil produces a bunch of byproducts. You got heavy oil, naphtha, light oil, petroleum gas. Correct. So, we need to start disposamicating of uh, them products. Now, how the heck are we going to do this? Well, first and foremost, we got to set up fractioning powers, right? This would be heavy oil. I think. <laughs> it's a guess. Um, that's heavy oil. But then light oil could come out this side, and then we could have, well, something else on this side, which would probably be naphtha, because naphtha doesn't cost as much as the rest of them. We'll crack down all of the naphtha products. Oh, no. More radiolysis machines. It's not that bad, though. Because these guys are actually amazing. For energy. They'll probably be able to supply the whole plant with energy, which is amazing. Right. So, basically, one of the things that's really important with this setup is that we're going to have to be able to process all of the byproducts down into constituent components. And then take those byproducts and then make good consumer grade products from them. So that's what we're going to be doing. See the primary focus is here to make as much consumer grade products. We're talking kerosene, rocket fuel, uh, bakelite, polyester, you, you, you can wear it, you name it. Micro, micro, micro plastics. Dude, we need it all. So that's why we're setting up like this. And these are all going to be the, on part of the control units. So uh, we'll figure that out when I get there, because I'm not sure how I'm going to set up control units yet. That's fun, isn't it? Right, so the first one I've actually got set up is going to be the dash production, which is going to require the light oil. Actually, no. Wait, that should go somewhere else. Anyway, light oil is going to come out of this side here, and it's going to be like so. That's going to be for the other stuff and we're also gonna have to store some of these materials because some of these are kind of um yeah that's something i want to have backed up <laughs> so petroleum gas comes out of the refinery like that then we'll have naphtha set up pretty basic refinery in it um not like something new but it is going to be something new when we get to the redstone Industrial oil is probably the worst part of this thing, but anyway, this makes bitumen, and that needs to be sent to a radiolysis machine, which is going to be the first thing I'm going to be setting up for. Uh, we got, looks like diesel naphtha. What we can do with diesel? Uh, we can probably crack diesel down, which means I'll need another radiolysis machine. Diesel, uh, what can you do with that? You can desulfurize it, can't you? Nope, that's for cracking, but I think you could probably do some hydro treating with some of that. You could probably coke it. That'd probably be a good use. Although, then we get diesel and kerosene from, that's from light oil. Uh, useless. But here's the diesel. Uh, oh wait, that's showing us how to get diesel. What can you do with it? Crack it for petroleum and kerosene. I don't really need the petroleum, but kerosene is pretty good. Uh, you can actually mix this with performance to make high octane diesel. You can coke or naphtha would probably be the best way to go because that gets you to another stage, doesn't it? There is also solidification as an option. So this actual coke or naphtha can be reformed to reform it and reform a gas. 
That is actually looking pretty spicy now, isn't that? Because that reformant, reformant gas, that can be used in some pretty good stuff. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Really, really thinking about it. That might actually be a good idea. I might do it. Should I?